What's the best death in a movie? The death at the end of Man on Fire. The final snap in Avengers. Endgame. The death at the end of the face-off episode of Breaking Bad. In shock value alone. The most unexpected death was on Better Call Saul when greater than. Howard. Less than was killed. I'm pretty good at predicting what's going to happen on shows and movies. But that one had my jaw on the floor while I stared at my blank TV for about 15 minutes after it ended. There is a top three in me and my dad's minds. Jason Voorhees smushing the face of someone through a trailer in Jason 6. Jason Voorhees punching the guy head off and the head falls into the dumpster and Jason takes Manhattan. Rambo vs. Koyurov in Rambo 3. He kicks him down a hole where he gets hung and then right when he gets hung he blows up from a grand on his chest. The one that popped into my brain was Alien. Resurrection. Ripley manages to press her mutant. Gargantuan clone slash daughter up against the acid cracked porthole. The vacuum of space slowly. Painfully pulls the grotesquerie out into space. Streams of flesh and alien blood exit meanwhile horrific screams and pathetic mewling are heard. Then pop. All that is left is the xenomorph skull. Amazing and terrible death scene. Man there are so many last stand great deaths in cinema it's hard to pick. William Wallace in Braveheart with that shout. Jack Sparrow staring down the Kraken in Pirates of the Caribbean. Liam Neeson's character in The Grey. Doc Holliday in Tombstone. Wolverine in Logan. The Iron Giant. But also like satisfying villain deaths are so fucking good too. The T-1000 exploding in T-2. Hans Grubber slow motion fall in Die Hard. Ma Ma's fall in Dread. I think Leon and Leon the professional kinda hits both of them perfectly for me though. What question can you ask someone about their dog slash cat but cannot ask about their child? Does it shed? How often do you squeeze their anal glands? Did you adopt or buy? I think your name choice is weird. Have you considered changing it? When are you getting him slash her fixed? Are you crate training? Does, Essie bite? Should have rescued a mixed breed instead of getting a full breed. I feel like if someone asked me to pet my child it'd be weirded out. Is it neutered? Will you be breeding it soon? Are you feeding kibble or a raw diet? How long do you leave it outside to pee or poop? Can you let me know when she's in heat so we can split the puppies? Is he cute? But dumb? Ours is adorable. But she will just run head first into a wall if we don't stop her. Can I take a picture of her? I want to show my husband. He loves these. Is she a rescue? Does she shed a lot? Where do you get her groomed? Where did you get her leash from? Is it done growing or is it supposed to look like that? Isn't this the kind that eats its own poop? Are you sure you really want to follow this around for the rest of its life scooping it up? A after week my dog died people asked me if I was going to get a new one. I was obviously still grieving. I had him for over 14 years. I can't imagine those same people would be okay if their child died and I asked them if they were going to have another one. So I was in the office talking with some co-workers about our dogs and whatnot. An employee comes in who has been put for a while comes in and sits down and my boss asks how he is and he starts talking about how she can't eat anymore. So she's basically just starving to death. And I. Dogs on brain. Like a fucking dumbass. Say, well can they not just put her down? His head whips toward me and he says my grandma, I've never wanted to run and hide more. So yeah. That. What movie or show do you keep re-watching? Movies. My Cousin Vinny. Star Wars Odd. James Bond series. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The Princess Bride. And so many more. TV shows. Star Trek. All series. Firefly. Babylon 5. Law. Order. Therese so many of them I don't think I have seen all of them. MASH. So many reruns. Probably more. Futurama, I am pretty sure my friends and family are getting annoyed with me constantly inserting Futurama quotes into what would otherwise be normal conversations. Stupid answer. But correct for my generation. Groundhog's Day. Because of lack of access it took years to really appreciate the progression of the storyline through repetition and now after 30 years there isn't an unwatchable moment in it. Some may assume that this is because those of us old enough to have watched it in theaters are losing their mental faculties and so we forget parts. But I would counter by saying what was I commenting on again? TV, Bob's Burgers. Psych. Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, we just did a full rewatch of The Closer and Major Crimes. Movies, Hot Fuzz, Greatest Movie Ever Made. Thor, Ragnarok. Edge of Tomorrow, there are others. I'm sure. But this is lately. The Office has gotten me through some very stressful times. My college friends and I would watch the new episodes when they came out each week. I didn't really have an interest in it then. I was just watching it because it was a social event with my friends. It was on Netflix by the time I finished school so I just watched it on repeat for 10 plus years an episode or two each night. It's like a comfort food for me. It reminds of one of the best times in my life, college, and just feels safe and positive. Women who had teenage mothers. What is your relationship like with your mom now? We lived in a shack for the first three years of my life. I am the second kid of three during that time. She finally reached out to her parents and they helped support us and got us moved back home. She was always so vocal about discrimination and equity and taught her daughters to think critically. Which I'm thankful for. Then she divorced my dad and became a crazy religious person we don't have any relationship now. I always felt like she missed the opportunity to really live her life and accomplish her own goals. It was never spoken out loud. 
but Therese just a sense that she's never experienced self-fulfillment. My dad was in medical school and working on the side so she had to drop out of school to watch my sister and I. She was still figuring out how to be an adult and manage her own emotions. All the while having to care for the emotions of two other little humans. Overall I'm grateful for the sacrifices that she's made. But seeing how difficult it was for her really scared me into being child-free. Our relationship now is pretty distant. But I think we're both comfortable that way. My mom had me when she was 19 she spent my entire life chasing after my meth-addicted father who was 21 when I was born. She was emotionally unavailable. Incredibly manipulative. Deeply insecure and afraid. It all poured over onto me. Spent my entire childhood trying to be understanding of her and giving her advice and support. I was basically her husband. We never got along well. Always fighting and disagreeing. Especially as I got older. I now have my own family and I rarely talk to her. She doesn't understand boundaries. I don't miss her. She causes me a lot of anxiety. Moving away from her was one of the best decisions I've ever made. It's better this way.